Rwanda, fondly known as the land of a thousand hills, has a limited road network. Though the country has made strides, its rough terrain has had an adverse effect on health service delivery, especially emergency blood transfusions. Doctors hope that this machine will change that. The country delivers about 65,000 units of blood a year. 50% of that is going toward moms who are suffering from postpartum hemorrhaging, and then 30% is going toward kids under the age of five who are suffering from severe anemia due to malaria. So it's, blood is incredibly urgently needed, and this is a way of getting it to them 10 times faster than we've been able to get it uh, to hospitals in the past. This is how it works. After receiving a request, the blood supply is packed into the drone. The craft is then catapulted into the air. Once it reaches its destination, it releases the package, which floats safely to the ground thanks to a biodegradable parachute. The reason that we're starting with blood is that it's a really crucial medical product and it's very easy for everyone to understand. But our long-term goal is to de deliver a whole host of medical products, things like rabies uh, prophylaxis, vaccines, antivenin, uh, oxytocin. These are all needed urgently, and when a patient doesn't have them, their life is in danger. So our, our goal is to slowly incorporate many more products into our deliveries over time. Kabgai Hospital is one of the 21 transfusion centers listed for drone deliveries. We haven't a case we have lost for the loss of the blood, but we have the challenge because when we haven't the blood, we must refer, we refer the, 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 client, the client in the referral hospital and it's very far. And sometimes when it is the, the emergency cases, we can lose the life of the patients. In the first phase of the project, two drones will be used, each weighing about 13 kilograms. They can make round trips of up to 150 kilometers. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.